everybody, it's your boy Hammer Shark here with Minecraft TV, and we have my boy Phoenix Death One's house right here, and we sent him away to a stranded island out in the Malaysian, you know, tropics and all that. And while he was gone, we decided we we're gonna trick out his house, you know, we're gonna we're gonna do him a favor, you know. But before we get into the house details, real quick, why don't you guys buy my mixtape? You know, it's only five for five, you know, wait, no, no, six nine, no, seven seven ninety nine on SoundCloud or Amazon or iTunes and you can get it at your local Sorry about that ladies and gentlemen. I will be replacing um Hama Shark for the remainder of the show. I'm Reginald Fancy Son of the Fancy Son family and as you can see by my suit I'm very fancy. So we're gonna be covering Mr. Phoenix Death's humble abode. Ugh made of wood. My house is made of diamond I'll have you know. <laughs> so um, actually, let's just do a fly around of this, uh, uh, dare I call it a house, real quick. So at a first glance, Mr. Phoenix Death now has a ramp leading up to the front of his house, along with this nice fence, uh, fence? Uh, what are these, pieces of wood? My fence is made of metal <laughs> and iron, but we have these fence posts keeping everything in and now Mr. Phoenix Death has glass so he can see through everything and he actually has working wooden, you know, stairs to be used as a ceiling. Let's see what's inside. Oh, a pooch. Please don't bite me, Mr. Pooch. Oh, mongrel. So over here we have a, dare I call it a bed, uh, Mr. Phoenix Death's bed. Let me see. Oh, yes, it is a bed, and it's quite comfy at that. Okay. Uh, we have two small furnaces over here, filled with, ugh, charcoal. More charcoal. And let's go outside and check it out. I need to get some air. Ugh, open up the door. And now Mr. Phoenix Death, he asked us to create a farm for him. So we have a small area outside for him to farm, with the fences linked off from monsters. Ugh, look at that over there. Disgusting. Simply disgusting. But when Mr. Phoenix Death wants like to take a stroll, he can open up the gate and continue about his merry day. So hopefully you guys liked our little Minecraft TV crib showcase, and Mr. Phoenix Death should be coming back anytime now. Hey guys, hope you liked my little comedic. Oh god, I fell into a hole. <laughs> my little comedic or my attempt at a comedic um, intro right there, just to show off my new house that I've been working on. So I figured that I just wanted to showcase you guys the house in this episode as well as go over some stuff because I really don't have the energy to make a pixel art today. So, yeah, I decided to come up with that little intro. Hopefully it's edited up pretty well because I did not have any idea what I was doing while I was filming it. <laughs> I was just messing around. But we don't have a name for our dog yet, so I'm going to put three different choices for dog names or you guys can probably put your own choices and whichever one gets the most votes in the comment section is going to be the name of our new dog. Or I'm going to just name him Dog if, if, if it comes to that because I'll be really lazy and we don't want that, do we? No, sir. So, um, let's go over some stuff that we're going to do with the house today. So over there, as you can see, there's like some wooden thing over there. I plan on building like storage area, an underground cave system and stuff like that. And also like a wall of inspiration. So we're going to start putting up quotes on there on a weekly basis or like a couple days basis. I don't know yet, but I'm still working on building it. And over here, we actually have a lot of stuff. We actually were able to get our pit trap to work and get us a CD, AKA mixtape. So over there, as you can see, we were shooting the creepers with skeletons. And we actually have too many items in our chest right now. So we're gonna go dump them. So uh, where's the fence? Okay, here it is. Don't want the cow getting into my area. Don't even like, don't look at me. So we're gonna head to the lava pit and dump our stuff. Yeah, so here's a little close-up look of that little wall of inspiration I was talking about. And where's the pit? Oh yeah, it's over here somewhere. So the pit we jump into for lava is down here. And I might go find some cactus as well, because cactus is pretty useful for destroying stuff. You throw an uh, item on a cactus, as you might know, it gets destroyed. So let's go to the lava pit and throw our stuff in. Oh, Christ! Oh, that scared me. Oh. Okay. But I wasn't that scared, you know. Okay, is there anything else down here? Alright. So let's check up there in case a creeper tries to drop down on us. No creepers. And we'll go dump our stuff. Let's hop down to the lava pit right here. Oh. 
And let's throw, what do we not need? We don't need this shovel. So we throw that in there. Bye bye shovel. We don't need, what else? These wheat seeds. Actually we do need them. We don't need some of this dirt. So I'm gonna throw away. Actually dirt is limited. We don't need these doors. We already use our doors. We don't need this broken pickaxe. And we don't need What's going on? Be gone. Okay, don't need to tell me twice. We out. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. That was creepy. That was creepy. Uh, back to the surface. Back to the surface. Uh, I think we're safe enough from the lava right now. Okay, so let's head back up to the surface. We already dumped all our stuff, and we're getting out of here. Okay. And then now I stink at jumping when I'm trying to get out of here. <laughs> So it's turning night right now, which is even worse. So I don't even know if it's which was scarier, the cave or being above ground with witches and creepers and skeletons and zombies and there's sure a lot of mobs. Oh my goodness. What's next? They're gonna have like wombats next, you know, just crazy Minecraft. Whoa, the, the creepers over there getting some inspiration from the wall of, oh jeez, wall of inspiration. Okay, up, up, there you go. Stay in school, kids. Otherwise, you'll end up like that creeper. 360 no scope, bro. Ooh, trick shot. Do I have any more arrows? Put me in a Call of Duty clan already, guys. Put me in a Call of Duty clan. Because it's worth it. So, I'm gonna start beating things with a pickaxe until I get my weapons back up. So, anyways. We cleaned out, We I showed you guys the house, um, told you guys some updates, we talked about the dog. Um, what else should we be doing? Oh, I forgot. Yeah, so I'm also going to be doing like the, you know, everybody loves that love garden stuff. I don't even know if I want to do a love garden kind of thing because it's just like so, so many people do it already. So uh, it's either you guys like ask me to do a love garden type of thing and I'll come up with some type of board or something. Or we'll find our own way of um, celebrating subs on my survival map. Because I do love sh um, showing off you guys and having you guys like, participate in videos and stuff. So if you guys really want the sub garden or whatever, I'll come up with something for you guys. Alright, so we dumped everything. I'm actually going to get started on the placement for the chest house. Because we need to get that done so that way I can, I can clean out this chest right here. So let's go place down our area that we want the chest house or the storage house to be. And we're just going to lay out like the basic parameters for it or like the size. So I want it connected to my house. And, but I don't want it to be too far. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to set it up above ground from my house. So it'll be like a ladder away. So let's just dig. Let's see where we be a nice corner to start it. Right here would be okay. And we'll start build, build, um, digging below ground. And once we're below ground, we'll have some ladders that can get down to it. And I think about this deep would be fine. Actually, just a little bit more. And we can just dig out like a massive area and just have like a below ground cavern for our, our stuff. So yeah, I'm just checking if there's any like cave systems below here before I set up my, my storage room area. But what I originally, what I like, my end goal is to have the storage room down here connected to like a farm underground here. I have a tree farm down here. I have a nether farm. I'm not a nether farm, uh, uh, an, a nether portal. And yeah, it'll just be like everything's below ground and then above ground I'll have all my other stuff too once I'm able to expand out and flatten out the entire area. But I do like the idea of having an underground storage just because that means when people join my map it won't be easy to find everything. Like, they'll have to actually look for it. Even though it's not that hard to find because it's right below my house. So, I'm not going to mind too much. We're just going to leave that for now. I'll mine the rest out later. And we'll have a cool looking storage, hopefully by the next episode. So let me leave Pooch there. So this episode is going to be quite short. Just want to show off the house for you guys and also get a couple of things out there. Um, hopefully next episode we can get the wall of inspiration going up and running and have something interesting for you guys. Maybe I'll have some diamonds by then or something like that just to keep that so it's interesting. But yeah, this is a bit of an update video for you guys along with it being an episode. 
So, thanks for tuning in, guys. This is Phoenix, and as always, I'll see you guys later.